Absolutely not. And the seasons, again, go look at the Solar 101 podcast. It talks about this. I think part one really gets into this. The seasons do affect solar production. Mm -hmm. Real quickly, 35,000 foot view. Uh, the sun is in the southern sky in the winter. Panels are sitting on your roof. Um, they're getting sun on the south side, but they're going to get a little bit less than normal. Same on the yep. west and east. North, not going to see a whole lot. Angle of sunlight's less. And as the sun comes up and up and up over into the summer, where now it's overhead, it's hitting a lot more, and you're and you're getting a lot more light. Um, and it's doing more on the north, especially because now the north is getting more light. So yeah, the seasons do affect how your solar system produces which is why you see more production in certain times of the year. And also heat affects how your solar system produces yep. because too much heat is no bueno. Yep. So go listen to Solar 101 podcast. I think it's part one, and it goes into that in detail, and you'll get that more of a, a better answer than I just gave you right now. I'm going to put you on a spot, Ralph. No. What's the? <laughs> you can just edit this out, I guess. <laughs> okay. What? What's the best months for solar production? Um, I would say uh, April, May, June. There you go. Look at that. A lot of people are like, what? July, August. It's no, the hottest. Too oh. hot. Too hot. Way too it's gotta hot. It's got to be uh, May, June-ish. Yeah, right now my system's producing really well.